In this exercise, I'll demonstrate top and bottom filtering to make it dynamically update the data that's being displayed on screen. Let's open up a new sheet and we'll call this one top n demo. So for this one, let's go ahead and switch up data source and use the consumer complaints data source. Add the number of complaints by double clicking. And now we'll go ahead and just drag company onto color. Yes, we will add all members. And now we have every single company and the size of their colored bar indicates the number of complaints that they received. This is from 2012 to 2015. So let's just go ahead and add our date received to our columns and turn this into a line chart. Currently it's showing as a, as a discrete date dimension. So we'll change that. Let's use the month year within the continuous section. So right now we see every single company. Let's limit the number of lines that we're seeing and only chart out the top three most complained about companies over time. In order to do that, we'll take company from our dimensions and drag it into filters. Instead of using the standard filter where you deselect certain ones that you don't want, we'll come up to the top filter. We're gonna apply this filter by the field. So we want the top three by number of complaints. Everything else looks good. So we'll hit okay. And right away, Tableau gets rid of all the noise and just shows us the top three most complained about companies over time. Okay, so now that we have our top three, let's go ahead and find the, the bottom three for another dimension. So we've already discovered the most complained about companies, but now let's check out the products that people don't complain about very often. So the ones we don't have to worry about as much. In order to do that, we'll simply duplicate our existing sheet by right clicking on top and demo and duplicating the sheet. And we'll call this bottom and demo. And let's use product instead of company. And in order to add product to our canvas, we'll simply overwrite our existing color object. So we'll click and drag product onto company and we'll add product to our filters. Click on top. And it's a little deceiving. You would think that because it's top, you only have the option to show your top items. However, if you come down to by field, instead of using top, you can just select bottom. And we'll do bottom three. And again, by the number of complaints. Hit OK. So here we have the least complained about products that companies have. Payday loan, prepaid card, and other financial services. This concludes the lesson on applying a top or bottom end filter to your data. Let's move on to the next unit.